Okay, Jan, hi. Hello, Bruce. Yeah, I'm calling you from uh, uh, tech from Texland. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, how's it there? It's um, quite windy um, and uh, the sun has been shining, but you know, it's you need a jacket. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've, after my long trip, I've had quite a bit of pain in my hip. You know, I have this problem mm-hmm. with my hip. And mm-hmm. uh, so I haven't gotten around very much. You know, there's there's more to see on the island and you can get on a bus and and ride and 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 see some of the farms and there's some museums and stuff. But uh, there's uh, there's nothing left of the Freyas here anyway. Oh, no. (laughs) But you are in Denburg or? um... Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, so maybe we could start with that. I came and decided I'm going to stay in Denburg because I assume that the name Denburg probably comes from the fact that, that this is where the Burg, the, we call it a burg in the book. That's one of the things that I've been thinking about, too, in English. Mm-hmm. People don't know exactly what that means, but a burg is a castle, right? A citadel, a, yeah, a burrow. Burrow is also an English word, I think. A burrow, yeah. We still use the word burrow. comes from burg, and we yeah. even have the slang term in the United States where we say a burg. We talk about like a small town. You say it's a burg. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so den burg. Would you say that this, I mean, maybe you haven't looked into it too much, but would you assume also that this is the location of the original uh, Freiersburg? I think so, but we cannot, we cannot be sure. And then it will have been under what is now the center of, uh, of Denburg. Um, yes, I've, I've been told there's still hmm. some walls that, that so they found uh, 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 not too long ago, some walls that they say were of a fortress that was here and torn down in 700 uh, AD or something by the Romans. Um, mm-hmm. But that's all that would be left. <laughs> uh, I actually had, oh yeah, here they are, some old images. Um, a few years ago, uh, quite recently actually, they found out they... Are you are you sharing this with me on the screen? I can't um, I did sc- screen sharing, but this is not in the browser, so... Uh, I do. You don't see anything. Nah, but I, I, I'm also. Uh, I didn't bring my laptop. I'm mm. doing this from a phone, so it could be just that. Uh, mm. We'll assume that everything is there, as you say it is. Yeah. I don't know if I have to do anything to. In Skype, I did screen sharing. Let's see. Um, I'm not too. Uh, I don't know much about Skype. I hardly, never use it. It does say uh, share screen. So. It says you're sharing. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I might need to. I might need to change uh, change my settings here, but go go on. I have two old maps here, one from the 1500s and one from early uh, 1800, mm-hmm. so 1803, 1801. You can see that the shape of the island has changed through the years. Uh, there's a, um, yeah, and the whole coastline, Dutch coastline, if they had not actively try, um preserved uh, the shape then there would be more uh, islands on yeah. what is now the North Sea coast and also in North Holland West Friesland they made polders out of many big lakes right you can see on the screen uh, that people can see on the screens I'm sharing yeah the island is actually bigger than it was uh, in centuries past mm-hmm. uh, when people were living mm-hmm. here they uh they they did an einpolderung of uh, uh, another smaller island Ayaland, yeah uh, next to it but as as far as i know i mean as far as i understand things texland when the when the uralinda was written was not an island right uh, it will probably have been connected to what is now north holland yeah and maybe even to what is now Vlieland. Mm-hmm. Uh, and on the maps I show you, can um, people can see the sand banks that actually suggest that it has been um, that it all has been land there. That it was a coastline. I mean, you see mm-hmm. that the the, 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 the the islands up there. It looks just like a coastland that's been flooded. Yeah. Uh, and, and in the in the yeah. text uh, of um, about Freya. It ends with uh, Vlielandes Boden sank on Grada. It's just, uh, that it suggests that Vlieland sank 
beneath no. our feet. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Sandbank southeast of Vlieland on the old map is called the Moerwaard, which could mean the Motherwaard. The mother. Oh, um, right. Yeah. And on the newer map, it only says the Waard. So it has lost the the, the mother. Yeah, it can also be marsh, muras. Right, right. We, we don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, that, that that's interesting, but it makes sense that it may have something to do with the mother. I mean, it, it would certainly make sense that they built the burgh here because this is obviously, if if we assume that Texland is a piece of Doggerland, which I guess it's safe to assume because that is that whole area of the North Sea was basically land. Uh, millennia ago mm -hmm. um, uh, the the highest point it was called the dogger hills was this point here and there's right. even there's even still a 15 meter high hill on the island here the highest point on the island 15 meters above uh, the, the north sea yeah. is they still call it the hoge berg uh, which is the the high the high hill or the high mountain actually uh -huh. and uh, so um, ass assuming that before the the inundation that we read about in the Udalinda, uh, or the two inundations that this was uh, maybe even considered high country you know uh, mm. uh, this was high land well i myself i think that what is now what is called doggerland will have be will have submerged earlier that's my idea but in the text of um of the second bad times mm -hmm. they speak of the northern part of Texland uh, being submerged and that it was not recovered later mm -hmm. okay so there yeah, yeah. but, but i think that still would be considered Doggerland. so Doggerland was this whole area here and over the course of like four thousand years it just got yeah. s sunk and sunk and even more and uh, so there was still the dogger bank uh, mm -hmm. until and 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 uh and i don't know when dogger bank was supposed to have sunk but i think around 1100 and um that's also when they say that texland was uh in the official history that's when tex texel was uh, separated from the dutch mainland okay uh, 1140 or something like that um I haven't studied that part. To another question that I, that I have about Texel before we get into anything else is mm -hmm. the pronunciation. So I was reading um, a word study of yours, I think, um, about uh, Texland, and you uh, equated it to the word um, um, taken. Taken, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I said perhaps it's related to taken, yeah. Uh, yeah the, taken the pronunciation, most symbol, people in, in the Netherlands say a tessel. Tessel, yeah. yeah, just like in Greece, Thessaloniki. Right. I've once suggested that Thessaloniki, uh, because there's a lot of places in Greece, coastal um, uh, cities that are called Stavros or mm -hmm. Stauros, right. which is very similar to Stavren. Yeah, yeah. Stavia. So, so it could have been, uh, yeah, like new, new, new test, new Tessel would be Tessel, Tessalonica, uh, yeah. Tessaloniki. Yeah, uh, that's, that's interesting. But, but I was just thinking about how to actually, I know that they say Tessel here, mm -hmm. um, um, but we still, in English, we say text and not, but we also have the word test, which also has something to do with text, possibly. Test, um, yeah, and teach. T teach, uh, so still has kind of that hard in it. So um, uh, I, I, I was just thinking that uh, maybe originally the, the island would have been a, a Texel or, or a, a, ah. a, a Texel, so, uh, uh -huh. and, and not Tess. Uh, but that was just a thought I had when I was reading through your word study. Well, the E um, text is spelled with a, a, no, uh, a short E. A regular E. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I would say, I would think Tex. Uh, yeah, not, yeah. not takes or takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we, I mean, that goes with text. So um, I, I, every time I want to talk to uh, someone here and, and mention Texel, uh, then uh, I don't know what to, whether to say Texel because then you sound like a German and then they yeah, yeah. that you funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Texel. Um, speaking of speaking to people, so I've I've actually talked to two people about the Uralinda in uh -huh. stores. One guy was absolutely uh, astounded. Nobody had heard of it. Really? Uh, yeah. And even though right next to the place I'm staying, there's a little restaurant called Freya. Ah. Um, spelled with an E, though. Uh-huh. Um, like in uh, Scandinavia. Yeah. 
and uh, I went in and I wanted to get a table there yesterday, uh, but they were all booked up for the for the you know the holiday weekend. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I still want to go over. They haven't had the door open yet. I want to go over and ask them how they came up with the name, whether it has anything to do with anything, you know. Yeah. Um, but the, the other people I talked to didn't know anything about the Wood of Linda. But uh, one guy um, in uh, I was in a store buying buying a gift for, for your daughter, actually. Um, <laughs> and the guy who's super interested in it and wrote everything down. And I gave him the address of the wiki. And uh-huh. uh, another lady, she was just, her eyes were just, you got bigger and bigger as I said things. <laughs> but they were so happy to hear about it. Oh, That's nice, the interesting yeah. thing. They were so happy that, like, that, 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 that Europe does have a history, you know, mm-hmm. and does have a culture. They didn't, they didn't reject it at mm-hmm. all, you know. So that was, that was encouraging. I think so. F- this far, I sold one uh, book to uh, someone living on Texland, on Texel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's I, I've started uh, spreading the fire here, so who knows what will happen. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, there's there's also linden boma everywhere. Like every tree, mm-hmm. that, every tree here is a linden. Oh yeah, and um, and many sheep. Uh, the sheep everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, you know I saw them coming in. I have not been out of Dimburg, uh, but uh, you know sheep pictures of sheep and signs with sheep on them and stores to buy wool. And my wife would love it here. Yeah, I think the last time I was there was in 2009, mm-hmm. right after shortly after I discovered Uralinda and I went there to record uh, my readings of the Tex Freyas and uh, Formas Kiedenisse. The, ah, the, that old video. All this history, which I still have. And sometimes I make it public and then I put it on private again. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm not so happy about uh, the pronunciation of some of the yeah. words. But I will do that uh, again sometime soon. After our talk about the pronunciation last week, I've mm-hmm. uh, been, I, I found it much easier to read uh, the book. Uh, we can do a uh, part of the text because that's what we wanted to discuss today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shall we start with the questions you had, or with the points of discussion, or? Yeah, um, maybe that's a good idea. Let me um, let me get it, pull it up here on on my screen. Um, so uh, there was a couple things that jumped out at me, and like one of them that I thought maybe we might have translated wrong. If uh, you don't mind me discussing that here in public. No, of course. Um, And it's um, when they talk about uh, uh, going down on your knees to thank Vralda. Yeah, Knibug on the tank to Ria. That's just the second point of the text. Okay. Vralda's gast may man alena Knibug on the tank to Ria. Tank to Ria. Ja, through Vara. For what you von him noten have. For what you need. And for a hape der you late on Angatida. Right. And do you want to read the, or should I read the English part of that? So uh, that says, uh, <clears throat> To Varalda's spirit alone should the knee be, should, should the knee be bent in gratitude. Mm-hmm. Yea, thrice fold for the gifts you, from him you have enjoyed, for what you enjoy now, and for the hope of providence in troubled times. Yeah. And uh, I especially like the way we got the last part in. But the first part, I wonder... So we said to Vralda's spirit alone. So to no one but Vralda's spirit should the knee be bent in gratitude. Yeah. Basically, that's how we translated it. Um, and when I read the Freyas, um, uh, it's, it's uh, hang on, ah, yeah. Vralda's uh, chast meimon alena knie. Oh, that word, I don't know how I'm going to say this Knibugyande. one. Knibugyande. Knibugyande, yeah. Bukyande tanktoye. Now, Elena comes comes at a point where it could be read, I think, Vralda's gast meiman Elena knibugyande tanktoye. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah. If you're going to thank him, you can. Al- you should always you must bend be your, on knees. your knees. Yeah. Yeah. Possible. What do you think of that? It's possible. Yeah. But um, it's hard uh, to say, but but to, to me, 
the way we translated it, the Elena would have had to be somewhere else. <laughs> uh, 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 to to uh, Veralda's case, Elena Meiman. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's something I think we need to think about because yeah. both of them make sense. One of them is more um, a, a little bit stricter, right? They're saying the, the way that I'm reading it now. So if, if, if when you're going to thank Veralda, this is how you do it. You mm -hmm. get on your knees three times uh, um, and, and that's how you do it. Uh, uh, I know we have later... Uh, in point five, uh, so, uh, more about Buki and the Kni. Uh, do, do you want to read? Uh, no, so part, point, point four, excuse me. Yeah. Nim nemar Kni Buki and the Tank von Janes dan an. Yeah. Just echt Vraldas Gast. So, so even that, when I read that, it, it actually seems to confirm what I was thinking to me. Just, just from my, from my, you know, from my heart. Um, don't take, don't take uh, thanks on bended knee from someone else. That is for Vralda, mm -hmm. right? Um, and uh, so I, I wonder, I wonder if we should th think about that. We certainly should talk about it. Again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just to s for the record, um, Sandbach also had. To rather spirit alone, uh, to rather spirit only, shall you bend a knee in gratitude, mm. which uh, is what what Ottoma also had then. Yeah. Um, the way we have it now, two and four are um, in agreement. Like, yeah, only to rather spirit, not to someone else, to another mortal. Right, but matter of fact, we actually added only to the four, didn't we? Um, to four, uh, let's see, never, 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 like I don't see an only there. Uh, and... just Agat Raldas cast, uh, for such is due to Raldas spirit alone, right? And we said alone, yeah, that doesn't yeah. actually say that. This, this, <clears throat> this is you know, this Agat Raldas cast. Um, it's 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 certainly a point that I think uh, the, the you alone, can brush over. The alone makes it a bit stronger. Makes it stronger. It makes it agree with number one, but uh, uh, the way we did it. But I think it would. I think it agrees by itself if if you translate it the other way. Yeah. But um, you know, th this is the kind of thing you run into because it, it literally could be both. Yeah. Um. um but. Uh, I have yeah, thought of uh, when I first translated this. I thought it could. I thought about. Uh, can it mean uh, like if you're going to thank Ralda, you can only do it with the bended knee. Yeah. But some somehow, it didn't really make sense uh, that they would think like that. Like it's a bit. That's the heart. Almost a bit slavish. Like. Um, uh, uh, as as if if you're not physically able to bend your knees, then you cannot thank him. Mm, oh, that's interesting. If this is important, if this is that important to put it in Freya's text, mm. um, because thanking is something you do with your soul or with your heart. Mm. Uh, and then, if you're going to sit on your knees or to bend your knees, okay, uh, it can make it stronger. It can make it look it can be a something extra but a little ritual it doesn't feel like it's that important uh, what your what your physical posture is so mm. i think the 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 knibug on the tank is like an expression mm. like we translated obese obeisance exactly yeah <laughs> there we there we left the knees out and we added it in a footnote what obeisance means excessive yeah. servile gratitude literally knee bending thanks mm. but uh to me it felt like it's uh, an expression they use like never um give that sort of thanks to anyone but for all yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean that i i had, obviously i understand the thinking behind it but it just jumped out at me mm -hmm. as I was reading it. it's an interesting thought uh I should sleep uh, over it for one night. 
Yes, we. Yeah, it's definitely not something we can work out here in a few minutes on the phone. And or we can add a footnote that it could mean both. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's another idea. Yeah. Um, and then um, then there was another one that I was thinking in in these times of where people don't know whether they're a man or a woman or something. Something jumped out at me again too, mm -hmm. um, and that is. Um, Uh, to choose men who will um, to choose honest men or something uh, where is it where, where they talk about uh, uh, five, four things are given to you oh yeah and then um, and then you're supposed to choose people who will um, share out the wealth fairly uh, uh, I'm sorry I'm looking at the I'm looking at the Freyas and it's hard for me to quickly search through it uh, sh shall I read it Yes, please. Fewer things sent to you and not given. Met name, luft, water, land en vuur. Men Moralda wil daar alleen een bezitter of wezen. Daarom bereid ik jou. Je skillen je rechtvaardige manakjaza. Dan je arbeid en de vruchte. Vruchte naar rechtta delen. Ja. Zodat niemand, zodat niemand vrij van werken. Niet van Vera zei. Okay. And we translated it as uh, four things are given for your enjoyment: air, water, land, and fire. But Rolda is the sole possessor of them. Therefore, my counsel is to you is choose upright men who will fairly divide the labor of the and the fruits, so that no man shall be exempt from work or yeah. from the du duty of defense. Or from the duty of defense, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we I did a great we did a great job on that, I think. Again, but there's just two things jumped out at me as I was reading the text here, sitting in Textland, uh -huh. you know, kind of really contemplating it. Yeah. Um, uh, so, mana kiesa, um, we translated as uh, to choose men, mm -hmm. and I just wondered because mana maniska. Yeah. Uh, I, I wonder if it, it has to be men or if it could be people. <laughs> I think it could be people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Because, be um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of work that can also be done by women or that can be better done by women, even. Mm. Yeah. So I interpreted myself as, um, yeah, like in Dutch, you say men for one. Yeah? Uh, one should do that. Right. Yes. Yes. Men, yes. men moet dat doen. Yeah. That is also the men. Right. Which is not male. Right. Yeah. Same in German. Yeah. So it's a good point. We uh, could make that more, for English. Uh, make it more uh, inclusive. Yeah. yeah then well, we'll, get, then in, we'll get all kinds of videos made about it. In this <laughs> case, well, it's when it's about uh, Vera uh, defense, then yeah. it will probably have been men. Yeah. But uh, labor, yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, there's I a lot mean, of most very good and important work that is done better by women than by men. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, most of the most of the aldermen and, and stuff they they do seem to be men. Like, it seems to be the mothers, and then the men are in the middle management positions. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, that was a point that jumped out at me. And then in the next sentence, um, where it says the the uh, Frischte Taylor. Yeah. Uh, we we said fairly divide, and that one it, it's it's the proper translation. But then I was just thinking in when I read that in English, it starts to sound very communistic for me. Like fairly divide in the way that we're brainwashed in the society nowadays. Mm -hmm. You think it means that everybody gets a piece of the pie, uh, um, but what it says here is that the that the fruits of the labor should be uh, so it should be uh, handed out uh, judiciously based on so so for me yeah. means based on what they did <laughs> not based on the fact that they exist uh, and uh, and that that would make then then the sentence that comes out of, after that makes more sense so that no one will be free of labor or uh, defense yeah so if we make it clear that it's not like fairly divide as in everybody gets some, it's fairly divide yeah. as in what you did, you get paid for. Yeah, well, you're right. Uh, absolutely. There's one other uh, law later. 
mm-hmm. where it's about the sea uh, people, the right, sh- how they divide. Shura, yeah. And then it's also divide in a way that some people get more than others. Right, right, exactly. And, and that the, is fair. The right? apprentices <laughs> get less than the than the um, admiral of the fleet. Right, right. It's it's broken down from from the from the admiral all the way down to the last guy on board. Yeah. Um, so rugtvierige right. mannen, um, rechtvaardige mannen, uh, yeah. upright men. Right. Who will who will divide things not equally or fairly even, but who will divide things according to each according to his what he earned you know yeah. it's hard to it's hard because here they're they're able to do it with two words <laughs> well the thing is that I, when i read and I, i didn't grow up with english so i don't always know what what is idiomatic mm. when i read fairly divide uh, i don't necessarily interpret it as that everything everyone right. gets the same amount right no no the, i'm just saying in our modern mm-hmm. In, mo- in our modern understanding of that word fair, it's often that like, you know, the, the, the little kids have to make, they have to share, you know, be yeah. fair. Now share that with uh-huh. them, even though you want to use it right now. Um, uh, so our idea of fair is so is so backwards nowadays that, that I wonder if we maybe could put a footnote in there or something at least yeah. to clarify that we don't mean that things were equally mm-hmm. divided. But uh, yeah, th- those are just some things that jumped out at me with the with the text. It's yeah. a, it's an amazing constitution for for uh, a people, really. Yeah. Oh, I sh- once I have the new book printed, and I went to the printers uh, a few days ago to make uh, to, t- to to discuss it. I will read it all once again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. A new and. Um, I didn't even have time to read the th- fourth fourth edition. Mm. Uh, I also got a bit bored of the uh, of how it looks, so it will look very differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you said that in a in a in a tweet. So I'm looking forward to talking to you about that. Also, when I see you this weekend, which I'm also looking forward. Yeah, to. Yeah, Saturday we'll <laughs> meet, and we'll have two days to discuss. Uh, there's many things to discuss. I'll tell you later. Mm-hmm. Great. And so d- that's all I really wanted to touch on. As I said, I've been walking around just enjoying kind of like feeling like I'm here in the place where this was happening, mm-hmm. you know, uh, the, the, and when I tell the people, you know, that uh, Tessel, Tessel and Den Burg used to be the the capital of the civilized world, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, they look at me like I'm nuts. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh I, I haven't been able to discover anything or anything here. So no, uh, well, well, there's many centuries uh, in between. Eh? Uh, Tes- uh, Tesla has been very important in the in the golden age as well, with the right. ships going to the East India. Yes, they all and waited all their, here for good wind. So there's been an important harbor, and it has been it will have been changed so many times. Um, yeah, there's nothing left. But well. Uh, I today this morning I found that in the um, North Frisia, which is the north of Germany, uh, mm-hmm. just very close to Denmark. Yeah, I had an image open. Um, where is it? Well, it's on my uh, on my Twitter, I think. Uh, there was there were remains were discovered with a new technique mm-hmm. in um, in the marsh in the area that is underwater most of the time. Uh, let me quickly open it. Yeah, they even called it Atlantis of the North Sea, mm-hmm. uh, a legendary city that uh, had been that had sunk in the year 1362. Uh, remains of that were found, like remains of a church and of mounds. But well, this article that I'm here that I have here is in Dutch. Yeah. But there are also references to English um, sources about it. So some new archaeology. Yeah, and the thing is that with this technique, they don't have to uh, dig. They can first, uh, what's it called? Use sonar or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, uh, no, it's. 
I will put it in the description. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Okay, so they can find it before they dig it up, is what you're saying? Yeah, with a sort of radar. Yeah, they they walk around and then when it's, then when there's something under the sand, they uh, they see it, and okay. then they then they can start digging there. Mm -hmm. So in the whole area, I had another map where you can see the whole coastline from from Texel to uh, Denmark, to the south of Denmark. Yeah. And a lot of land has been lost there, the whole coastline. Uh, there should be much to find if they start yeah. looking more with this technique. Yeah, well, that, that, I mean, not that they're going to tell the truth about it, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, at least, you know, more more puzzle pieces for, for us. Yeah, well, there was another very interesting thing, which I also put on Twitter. Um, Oh yeah, in a, an old building from the 30, 13, no, the, yeah, 1332, so the early 14th century, there were, uh, at the wood where the um, roof was made of, there were numbers, and they call it Arabic numbers, right? because in that time we were supposed to still only have the Latin uh, numbering, right? and it's still, uh, they, they say it's a mystery how the timbermen would then why they would have used uh, those arabic numbers that look like our normal numbers right but and also happen to be the uh, free, freyas numbers <laughs> yeah yeah mm. so well that's uh, maybe too long to discuss it here too much of a too much of a topic yeah, yeah and we but, didn't want to record too long this time huh? no i think uh, uh, if uh, if there's nothing, or is there anything else you wanted to talk about? I mean, I just wanted to talk about just the fact that I that I'm here, and we will talk about the text a little bit, and and uh, yeah, maybe short, and it's also related to language. I had yeah. a a public interview uh, last week in Snake in Friesland, uh -huh. and there was a group of people from North from West Friesland, and some of them wanted to uh, make a um, language course for children. Oh, cool. For homeschooling. And they wanted to start a sort of community. So that's very interesting. I would like to have that for my children as well. Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah. To, I mean, to at least look at it. I mean, and, and not, not just uh, not talk about it. Yeah. Uh, it, it. By the way, just another uh, thing, because, you know, I'm, I'm not a methodical person. I, I, I go more by instinct and uh, certain things jump out at me. And uh, so in the room that I'm staying in here in on Texel or Texel uh, is uh, a very unusual, like a, it's, I guess it's supposed to be a Mother Mary statue, you know, mm -hmm. like a Catholic thing, which is unusual, of course, up here to have anything Catholic, a, a Catholic statue. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but it's a, it's a blonde blue-eyed mother figure uh, uh, the, the sitting sitting on a shelf atop the room that I, overlooking the room here mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm i'm right next to this restaurant freya and i uh, have this mother figure in the room and it's it's really an interesting kind of a magical experience <laughs> just being here um, and uh, yeah i just wanted to share that too the, because I, I i thought that was so unusual i heard that in uh, west flanders like in Belgium, uh, yeah. because it remains Catholic. The, there are very, there are many um, toponyms with Frisia, uh, something Fries in it, mm -hmm. and that the Freya uh, worship uh, would have remained there, and that the Maria um, worship could have been a remained of uh, of the Freya worship. Right, that the Catholics just instated it to to pacify the the Freyas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's very very possible too. Um, but uh, there's so many things you could talk about. You know, it, it's 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 really hard to narrow it down into a phone call. The the, the number of things. So yeah. that's why I thought this time we just limit ourselves to a couple of few things yeah. and get it out there, and hopefully people enjoy listening to it. Um, and yeah, so I will. Uh, uh, I would let you go and uh, uh, see you on on Saturday. Yeah. Well, I will uh, end the recording now, and then we'll ca we can discuss some practical things. Okay.